Hello everybody and welcome back to G's World. Uh, we're going to do another little baking activity here now. We're going to actually make some homemade bread, which takes a long time to make, so the video is going to kind of be edited out to kind of make it as short as possible, but to show you all the important parts. And the number one thing I want to make sure that everyone is doing after trying any of these baking activities is make sure you're washing your hands and cleaning off any surfaces you're going to be using very well before you start the activity. So, let's get right to the recipe. So this is my homemade bread recipe. So I'm going to start off with three cups of just bread flour. I'm going to put them in the mixing bowl here. Okay. Right in there. Then we're going to add in some salt. So again, we're calling for a quarter teaspoon. That's about right. Okay. Now, if we look here, we've got some ingredients. So I've got traditional... Fleischmann's yeast. So if you look here, this is starting to bubble up a little bit, and you can see that as the yeast, we mix it with some warm water and some sugar, which activates the yeast and gets it a little bit foamy. So we're going to start in. So I've got two cups of room temperature or lukewarm milk. So I'm going to pour that in. I've got three tablespoons of melted butter. In that goes. And then I've got my yeast, so I'm going to add that. And now we're going to give it a mix together, get it nice and smooth and mixed. Takes a couple of minutes just to give it a little mix there. Okay, now normally this recipe uh, calls for two tablespoons of sugar at this point, but what I do to kind of change it up a little bit is I like to put in some honey to give it that sweet flavor. So we're just trying to add in the honey here as it's mixing. And we'll count one, two, three, four. So that's about two tablespoons of honey. Gives it a nice little sweet taste. Uh, and, you know, it's a little bit better than the refined sugar. So we've mixed this in here and we're getting a nice uh, mix on. Turn it up a little bit. So we're going to turn it off. Get our spoon again here, just to scoop off all the, the dough that's collecting on our mixing paddle. And clean that off. Okay. So now I'm going to switch over to my bread hook, which allows my flour to kind of come together. And I need to add more flour so we get a nice dough. So it calls for another three to three and a half cups of flour. So we'll start off with two. Put our bread hook in, lock our blender down. Start it to mix slow, because again, we don't want to have flour going everywhere. But as the flour starts to mix in, we can uh, turn up the heat, or turn up the speed, we'll say. Uh, and you can see there, we've got some flour kind of going everywhere, so we want to adjust that speed. Roll it back a bit. Now we're going to get another cup of flour to add in. I'm going to turn off my mixer for a second. Add in some more flour there to the bottom. Lock it in place. Start it again slow. You can see you got, you know, you got a bit of flour going everywhere here, but that's okay. Because we're going to actually use that flour. This is a clean surface. We're going to use that anyway, so waste not, want not. So I'm going to give this a nice little mix here now. Everything is locked in place. You can see the dough kind of goes a little crazy, jumping out. And you just kind of stick it in, watch your fingers. You don't get it jammed up because no one wants to break a finger when they're making bread. That would be a bad thing. And we'll just kind of let it work its way around. Sometimes it gets a little aggravated. It starts bouncing around. You want to kind of hold it in place, you know, because it's a nice mixer. You can see the dough is trying to escape out. So it's kind of Get in there, Joe. Stay there. Okay, and another little couple of seconds, let it bounce around. Move my mixing cup, move my flour, move my salt, move my honey. Okay, and looks about right, so we're going to stop it there, lift it up, and we can see that the dough comes right off the bread hook. So we're going to put that away, we're going to take out this. Close up, lock it up, tuck it away. Now we've got some flour on the countertop here. So like I said, it's going to be waste not, want not. You can see our dough 
is all mixed together. It just comes right out. So now we're going to give it a couple of kneads back and forth. Get it into a nice shape. Don't be afraid to dig in, get the elbows in there, get your flour down, give it a little smack every now and then. Because, you know, it's a good way to get a little workout on the upper guns here. And, uh, you know, take out a little bit of frustration if you got it. Because, you know, there's nothing better than giving that bread a little bag. So, give it a little shape, knead it back and forth. Okay, get some flour underneath. Now we're going to shape it into a ball. Right. Okay, and now we're going to have to let it sit for an hour. So we're going to dig out some spray again. Oh, stuff flying out of the covers. Give our bowl a little spray. Put our bread in. Cover it up with a dish towel. And leave it for an hour. So we'll check back in in an hour. And another one's gone. And another one's gone. Another turn past the dust. Hey! I want to get you to Now the germ bites the dust. Whoa! Welcome back, everyone. So an hour has gone by, and uh, we've taken our bread out of here, and we've already taken it out, a little bit of TV magic there, but we've taken it out, and we've uh, separated it out into different balls, and so got a nice round ball here. So I'm going to put that back in the bowl, cover it up, because we're actually going to use that for toutons. Now, in these pans here, you can see here I've got a three loaf pan of bread. So this pan here, I'm going to put a two loaf in. So we take our dough, we kind of, you know, form it into a nice ball shape, put it in our pan. Same thing here, going to form it into a nice shape, put it in our pan. Now the thing is, these need another two hours to rise. So we're going to cover them up, and uh, in two hours they're going to rise up. And then we'll get ready to put them in the oven. The best thing about these pans, these are old. They belong to my grandmother, grandfather. Uh, they probably had thousands of loaves of bread baked in them. And, uh, you know, so it's great to be able to have those and use them. Uh, you know, we could almost call them artifacts for those who want to, you know, get into the social studies lingo. So I'm going to cover that up. And we will be back in a couple of hours to finish off our bread. See ya. Okay, we're back, and our two hours have passed. So now we're going to have a look at our bread underneath our towel. So you can see here how it's risen up nicely. Nice little crust on it. So rolls up here. So we're going to put it in the oven. We'll let it bake for 35, 45 minutes, and then take it out, and we'll have some delicious homemade bread. So see it in about 45 minutes. Be safe. Okay, we're back. Our time is up and our bread should be ready to come out. Uh, so just want to say after our last baking video, I had a uh, message from my niece who uh, told me that I need to be practicing safe. Practices, I should be using oven mitts when I take things out of the oven. So I realize not everybody has you know, super sensitive or super strong hands like myself. So I want to make sure that I'm giving a good example. So one of the things we do when we take our bread out to see if it's checked is we kind of give it a little knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. And if it sounds hollow, that's a good indication that it's done. So while we've got it here in the pan cooling, we're going to take some margarine and we're just going to brush on the top to give it a nice glossy finish. You can see here how it's baked up nicely. And we let it cool and then we enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you give uh, baking bread a try. And uh, I hope everyone is out there being safe. And hopefully we'll all get back to school soon. But the key thing to remember, because one of the big things here about G's World is we keep learning no matter what. Learning all the time. So, great to see you. Have fun. And we'll talk to you again soon on our next video.